Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to code in Python. Today, we are talking about positional versus keyword arguments. So this is what we did in the last video. We talked about the basics of defining and calling functions. Um, but we only work with positional arguments. So we're going to work with some keyword arguments right now. So we're actually going to make a new uh, script, I think. Uh, ignore the fact that this is just a mess of a directory right now. Um, so we're going to... Um, say uh, def create story or something. It's going to be a slightly weird function, but um, and we're just going to have it print out for now. And we're going to have an F string. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to have our name uh, was use alls as an example. This is an interesting example. Um, and he, uh, oh, they, uh, worked as a bam. So what we've done here is we've we've set up a little sentence. We're going to add some uh, variables here. So we're going to have name. We're going to have age, and we're going to have a job. And what we could do here is we can pass name, age, and job into here. And if we do uh, create story, uh, Ethan, twenty two. And I don't know, software engineer. I'm well, not a software engineer, but the rest of it's accurate. <laughs> as you can see, Ethan was 22 years old, and they worked as a software engineer. That is our basic story. It's not really a story, but you know, it's that sort of it's that sort of idea. And what we can do um, is we can avoid situations like this, where we would error if we didn't pass in enough functions using keyword arguments. So what we can do here. Is we could say that a name, uh, we could say that we need to pass the name, for example, and then we can have an age. So age is maybe like 18. And then a job is a programmer. And what we can do here is we can get rid of this. And it now creates a sentence that Ethan was 18 years, old, uh, 18 years old and they worked as a programmer. So what we've done is we've only passed in the name, but We've actually provided defaults for age and job as 18 and programmer, but we can actually overwrite these. So we can do age equals 25. And as you can see, Ethan is now 25. So although we have age equals 18 here, we've actually passed in age as 25. And we can do the same for job without having to do the same for age. Um, so teacher, for example. Ethan was 18 years old and they worked as a teacher. So the age is preserved as 18, but we've replaced the job now, and we, we don't have to do the, um, the age, although we can, of course, do both should we wish to. Um, so that is the difference between positional and keyword arguments. Um, however, the, uh, uh, there is a little more syntax that we can do to ensure that certain things only get passed in a specific way, because, for example, if I did this, <clears throat> uh, so we have the uh, my name, Ethan's getting passed into the name, but this 30 is getting passed into age because it is the second parameter along. Um, so that's getting overridden, and we can do the same thing here with teacher. And it, it, uh, it overrides everything as you would perhaps expect. However, what if we don't want this? What if we only want the job uh, parameter, for example, to be passed like that? We can use an asterisk like that. And as you can see, it works fine now. But if we do this, we get an error. Uh, it said, uh, create a story takes from one to two positional arguments, but three were given. So we've given three positional arguments, but uh, everything before this asterisk can be passed as a positional argument, should we wish to. But everything after it must be passed as a keyword argument, otherwise it won't work. So we can do stuff like that as well. Uh, we can also uh, do something like this. So we can pass name equals Ethan and we can have anything like that. So we can pass positional arguments as keyword arguments. However, if you only want it to be possible as a positional argument, you can use the slash. And essentially what this is doing now is saying that name can only be passed through as a positional argument age can be passed through as either, and job can only be passed through as a keyword argument. So if you run this now, we'll see that it errors again. 
because it uh, got some positional early arguments passed as keyword arguments. And it's actually very explicit with the error, which is interesting. So as you can see, this works. Uh, this works. And if we just pass in 18, or actually if we just pass in 20, we can see that that still works like that. So that is the sort of level of control that you have over it. A lot of the time you're not going to need the slash or the asterisk. Um, they are predominantly used in situations where stuff can be confusing. Um, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I know it's kind of difficult to explain, but there aren't that many situations where you're going to need to do this. Um, but I thought I'd let you know they exist. Um, keyword arguments are used a lot for default. So you'll see like age equals none a lot or uh, something equals none. It's basically saying that it's an optional thing that has a default, but you can override should you wish to. Um, and then obviously positional arguments, you have to specify. And then you obviously have the rest of the syntax for everything else. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Hopefully I did a, an okay enough job at explaining that. It is a bit of an odd syntax. Um, actually, I should, before I forget, I should explain it. This slash is 3.8 onwards. Can't do that be, uh, before 3.8. I'm not sure when the asterisk came in. I think that was maybe 3.4 or something. It's been around a while. It's certainly been around a lot longer, a lot longer sorry, than the slash. Um, but yeah. Hopefully I explained that well enough. If I didn't or you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or you can join the Discord server so using the link in the description. While you're down there, I have all my socials. So if you want to follow me on Twitter or follow me on Twitch, then go for it. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, then say hello below. If you really liked it, then, then consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, I don't have to do a really cool thing for you to do. With that in mind, I'd like to thank my awesome patrons for being amazing. Yeah, I caught you off guard with that one. And I'll see you next time where we talk about args and quarks.